The Lord give you peace. Welcome to the Marian House of the Holy Spirit here in Nottingham, Great Britain. As poor Clare Collins, we began our Advent early, the feast of Saint Martin. Tonight we bless our Advent wreath. Lord, you are our everlasting life. We look to your coming. Your word is our light. We set this light against the darkness and fear of our world. We offer our prayer and our hope for all of you with us tonight. God is good all the time.
fratelli e sorelle tutti. I want you to know how I felt for baby Jesus. This is Mary. She was unique. She was wonderful. It wasn't obvious to other people, but God saw it. And so he said to himself, she's the right one. He sent the angel Gabriel to tell her she was going to be the mother of his son. So Gabriel flew in and said, Hi Mary, God has seen that you are just the person to be his son's mum. And Mary said, Wow, that's mind-blowing. How's it going to happen? The Holy Spirit is on its way. And whoosh! The invisible Holy Spirit wrapped his wing round Mary. So Mary said, Okay, if that's what God wants, that's what I want too. So Mary waved bye-bye to her fiancé, Joseph, and set out to see Elizabeth, whom the angel had told her was having a baby too. When Mary arrived at Elizabeth's, Elizabeth ran out and called, You're the best lady going, and I don't deserve that you should come all this way to see me. Then Mary sang, Hurrah for all the marvellous things God's done for me. So when Elizabeth had her baby, John, Mary went home. The first person she met was Joseph, who was a bit taken aback when he saw she was expecting. But the angel popped in and told him there was nothing to worry about. In no time, Mary and Joseph were rushing off to have their heads counted for a census. When they got to Bethlehem, the stable was the only place that wasn't full. They parked the ass with the ox, who was already there. It was time for Mary to have her baby. <laughs> And she put him in a manger. Meanwhile, some men and their dog, Scott, were looking after sheep <laughs> nearby. All of a sudden, a whole lot of angels appeared in the sky singing. <laughs> They saw the baby in the manger and gave him the sheep to keep him warm. <laughs> now you have all seen for yourselves what really happened. Loud out they sing.
fratelli e sorelle tutti. Brothers and sisters all. All life matters. In the recent American elections, good people went from door to door, encouraging others to register to vote. And as a result, millions of people voted who had never done so. Why didn't you vote before? Someone asked an Afro-American friend. He answered, I did not think my life mattered. I did not think I could make any difference. Everyone's life matters. It is wrong, Pope Francis said, when the only voices to be heard in public debate are those of the powerful and experts. The world can only be changed for good by sins. Living with God changes the world. Saint Bakita was a slave. The name her and slavers gave her was fortunate one. She was beaten, abused and scared. But when freedom came, she used it to live in God's house and pray. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Pedro Cowensworth lived and taught the faith he had received. He was killed at 17 because he would not pick up the spear that missed him and use it to disable the man who attacked him. Blessed are the peacemakers. When Blessed Father Saint Priyan Tansi was born, his father called him, don't let malice kill. A humble priest at Mount St. Leonard, he learned tenderness through experiencing severity. He said, God will give you double what you give me. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is right. Franciscan sister Saint Alphonse gave her life to Jesus. She lived every day in his love, looking to the glory of the resurrection while she traveled through the valley of the shadow. Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. Where all matter, holiness matters. Every life makes a difference. My life matters. Your life matters. Our life together matters. That's why Jesus was born.